back to our thankfulness series. I want to start by asking you a question. What's the difference between a good pizza place and a great pizza place? More importantly, what's the difference between a pizza place and a place where you're going to get an experience? If you go to a place like Domino's or Pizza Hut, you're going to get good pizza. You've got the good cheese, the good sauce, all your favorite toppings, all on a good crust. But that's it. You're just going to get good pizza. When you go to a place like Chuck E. Cheese, you get more than just the pizza with the toppings that you want. My personal favorite is Canadian bacon, pineapple, and black olive. Mmm, so yummy. But you're going to get more than that. When you go to Chuck E. Cheese, you're going to get skee-ball and basketball and the animatronic mice. You're going to get tickets and a ball pit and all the prices that come with it. You're getting a full-fledged experience. Now, what does Chuck E. Cheese have to do with being thankful? Well, today I want to talk to you about how it's not just Jesus that we have to be thankful for. It's everything in our life. That God didn't just give us Jesus for salvation. He did, and that's incredible. But he also gave us every good thing in our life that we get to have fun and celebrate and enjoy. Today I want to talk to you guys about King David. King David was one of the kings in the Bible. And he was someone that God loved and cherished so much. He called David a man after God's own heart. David was constantly praising God and thanking God and singing songs. He called them psalms, and there's a book of them, a bunch of them, in the Bible. And each one is a different song that God wrote, or that David wrote for God. Let's take a look at the video that'll tell us more. Stories of the Bible. David's Prayers. This is David. Hey, all. David was the second king of Israel. Yeah. He was a great warrior. Oh. He loved God with all of his heart, and he prayed to God often. Hmm. David loved God so much that he wanted to give him a special house to live in. Yeah, that's it. But God told David that it wasn't his plan for David to build this house. Even so, David thanked God for all he had done for him. He praised God for the great God that he is. Hmm. David wrote many psalms, which are prayers and songs to God that are in the Bible. In many of his psalms, David began by thanking and praising God. He thanked God for answering his prayers and giving him victory over his enemies. He thanked God for guiding him and showing him the right path to take. David thanked God for always being with him. Even when David was an old man, he thanked God in front of all the people of Israel for all that he had done. He said to the people, Give praise to the Lord your God. David talked to God his whole life and this is one reason why God said, I have found a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want him to. I love gummy bears, specifically this brand. How many do you think are in this bag? Let me tell you, it's a lot. I have to be honest, I don't know. I didn't count, but why don't we count together? See if we can figure out how many are in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh oh. I lost count already. Uh oh. How many do you think? Oh, man. I was too busy enjoying them, I didn't even get the opportunity to count them, and I lost track. I bet if we started counting our blessings, we would find the same thing. God's given us so many things for us to enjoy. King David was a king. He was a general. He led men. He and I are not going to have the same experience in life. I'm never going to be in charge of an army. But King David always knew that God would protect him no matter what. He knew that whether he was going to battle or everything in his day-to-day -day life, God would be there with him and God would protect him. And that's why he always was praising God for everything he gave him. He counted his blessings and he never took any of them for granted. And I think that if you and I were to start thinking about everything that God has given us, 
Even though our lives look different from David, we've been given so many blessings. Your parents, your grandparents, your friends, the world we live in, the animals we get to look at, the plants we get to enjoy, the good delicious food, the delicious gummy bears. When we think about every single blessing, I bet you you would lose count. Just like I was too busy eating these gummy bears and enjoying them to actually count them, when we think about all the blessings God's given us, we'll lose count of how many there are because all of a sudden we'll be like, Oh my gosh, God has given me so much to enjoy. And we'll lose track of counting the number of blessings because we'll be so busy enjoying them that we will just get lost in the beauty of the life that God has given us. So just like I plan on demolishing this entire bag of gummy bears, I'm not going to know how many are in there because they're going to be all in my tummy. And I think today I want to challenge you to count how many blessings God's given you. Everything, small things, big things, medium-sized things. And the more you count, the more you're going to realize there's no way to count them all. God has been so faithful that we can't count them all. King David tells us best in this memory verse. Give thanks to the Lord and proclaim his greatness. Let the whole world know what he has done. King David exemplified this best because he was always praising God. And I want that to be our constant life, that we're thanking God for every single blessing he's given us. And we get so caught up in thanking him for the blessings and thinking about the blessings that we forget just how many there are because there are too many to count and that we can just enjoy them. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you so much for every blessing you've given us, from the small to the big, from the things we think about to the things we don't think about every day. I pray that you would help us remember every blessing, everything you've given us to enjoy in this world and in our lives, and that we would thank you constantly for them. We praise you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's do some worship together. Surf's up, dude. Your love pours down, splashes all around. It's as big as the biggest waterfall. Your love soaks me so completely till I'm drenched in the sweetest rainfall. And I will shout out loud. Crashes down, it's like riding away. Whoa, makes me wanna dance and hey, throw up both my hands when yeah, your love crashes down. It's like riding away. It's like riding away, your love. Your love pours down, splashes all around. As big as the biggest waterfall Your love soaks me so completely Till I'm drenched in the sweetest rainfall And I will shout out loud Whoa, it's all over me And hey, I cannot believe that yeah crashes down, it's like riding the wave, whoa, makes me wanna dance and hey, throw up both my hands when, yeah, your love crashes down, it's like riding the wave, it's like riding the wave, your love. And I wanna go deeper. Where the waves are higher, higher And I want to go deeper, deeper Till all I know is your great love It's all over me and I cannot believe that Your love crashes down it's like riding a wave, whoa, makes me wanna dance and hey, throw up both my hands when, yeah, your love crashes down. It's like riding a wave, it's like riding a wave, and it's like riding a wave, your love.
Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> Give thanks to the Lord and proclaim his... <laughs> I stumbled on that last line. Did I say that last line again? Okay. 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 <laughs> My head what? Stick one, stick one, stick to one, okay. Am I, was I okay with the first one? Okay. 